Age and Female Fertility, Wikipedia Article Audio Female fertility is affected by age. Age is thus a major fertility factor for women. Menarch, the first menstrual period, usually occurs around 12 to 13, although it may happen earlier or later, depending on each girl. After puberty, female fertility increases and then decreases, with advanced maternal age causing an increased risk of female infertility. In humans, a woman's fertility peaks in the early and mid-20s, after which it starts to decline slowly. While many sources suggest a more dramatic drop at around 35, this is unclear since studies are still cited from the 19th century and earlier. One 2004 study of European women found fertility of the 27-34 and the 35-39 groups had only a 4% difference. At age 45, a woman starting to try to conceive will have no live birth in 50-80% of cases. Menopause or the cessation of menstrual periods, generally occurs in the 40s and 50s and marks the cessation of fertility, although age-related infertility can occur before then. The relationship between age and female fertility is sometimes referred to as a woman's biological clock. The average age of a young woman's first period is 12 to 13 12.72 in Canada. 12.9 in the UK but, in postmenarchal girls, about 80% of the cycles are anovulatory in the first year after menarche, 50% in the third and 10% in the sixth year. A woman's fertility peaks in her early and mid-20s after which it starts to decline. However, the exact estimates of the chances of a woman to conceive after a certain age are not clear and are subject to debate. Quantification of Effect Ovarian Reserve According to the National Institute for Health and Clinical Excellence over 80 out of every 100 women aged under 40 who have regular unprotected sexual intercourse will get pregnant within one year of trying. In the second year the percentage rises to over 90%. According to a 2004 study by Henri Laridon, Ph.D., an epidemiologist with the French Institute of Health and Medical Research of women trying to get pregnant, without using fertility drugs or in vitro fertilization. According to a study done on a sample of 782 healthy European couples ages 1939, Fertility starts declining after age 27 and drops at a somewhat greater rate after age 35. The women were divided into four age groups, 1926, 27 29, 30 34 and 35 39. Statistical analysis showed that the women in the 27-29 age group had significantly less chance on average of becoming pregnant than did the 19-26 to year-olds. Pregnancy rates did not change notably between the 27-29 age group and the 30-34 age group, but dropped significantly for the 35-39 age group. The age of the male partner had a significant impact on female fertility among the women who had reached their mid-30s, but not among the younger women. However, experts said the new study was too small and there were too many variables which were too difficult to sort out, for a clear conclusion to be drawn. Some experts suggested that the main change in fertility in the older women was the fact that it took them longer to conceive, not necessary that they were significantly more unlikely to eventually succeed. David Dunson, a biostatistician at the U.S. National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences, said that, although we noted a decline in female fertility in the late 20s, what we found was a decrease in the probability of becoming pregnant per menstrual cycle, not in the probability of eventually achieving a pregnancy.
A French study found no difference between the fertility rate of women under 25 and those ages 26-30, after which fertility started to decrease. Estimating the fertility of a woman is quite difficult because of the male factor. This French study looked at 2,193 women who were using artificial insemination because their husbands were azoospermic. The cumulative success rates after 12 cycles of insemination were 73% for women under age 25, 74% in women ages 26-30. 61% for ages 31-35, and 54% in the over-35 age group. In Hungary, a study by the Cosponti Statistikai Hivital estimated that 7% 12% of Hungarian women younger than 30 were infertile, 13% 22% of women age 35 were infertile and 24% 46% of women age 40 were infertile. Historical data The below is a table containing estimates of the percentage of women who, if starting to conceive at a certain age, will fail to obtain a live birth. Note that while for the young ages researchers tend to agree, for older ages there is discrepancy. In terms of ovarian reserve, a typical woman has 12% of her reserve at age 30 and has only 3% at age 40. 81% of variation in ovarian reserve is due to age alone, making age the most important factor in female infertility. Impact The most common methods of checking the status of the ovarian reserve is to perform a blood test on day 3 of the menstrual cycle to measure serum FSH level, alternatively a blood test to measure the serum AMH level can give similar information. Transvaginal ultrasound can also be used to count the number of follicles and this procedure is called antral follicle count. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists recommends ovarian reserve testing should be performed for women older than 35 years who have not conceived after six months of attempting pregnancy and women at higher risk of diminished ovarian reserve, such as those with a history of cancer treated with gonadotoxic therapy, pelvic irradiation, or both those with medical conditions who were treated with gonadotoxic therapies or those who had ovarian surgery for endometriomas. It is important to recognize that a poor result from ovarian reserve testing does not signify an absolute inability to conceive and should not be the sole criterion considered to limit or deny access to infertility treatment. Family Planning a study of a population of French women from 1670 and 1789 shows that those who married at age 20-24 had 7.0 children on average and 3.7% remained childless. Women who married at age 25-29 years had a mean of 5.7 children and 5.0% remained childless. Women who married at 30-34 years had a mean of 4.0 children and 8.2% remained childless. The average age at last birth in natural fertility populations that have been studied is around 40. Reproductive Medicine In 1957, a study was done on a large population that never used birth control. The investigators measured the relationship between the age of the female partner and fertility. This 1957 study found that the inverse correlation between age and female fertility in later reproductive life is argued to motivate family planning well before having reached 35 years of age. Mapping of a woman's ovarian reserve, follicular dynamics, and associated biomarkers can give an individual prognosis about future chances of pregnancy, facilitating an informed choice of when to have children. Notably, 
a higher level of anti-malarian hormone when tested in women in the general population has been found to have a positive correlation with natural fertility in women aged 30-44 aiming to conceive spontaneously, even after adjusting for age. Thus, AMHA measurement is helpful to determine which women may need to conceive at an earlier age, and which women can potentially wait. Most in vitro fertilization centers will attempt IVF using the female partner's own eggs until about age 43-45. Michael Fox, MD, a reproductive endocrinologist in Jacksonville, Florida states that, in regard to assisted reproduction treatment, in general our approach to treatment of patients over age 35 is vastly more aggressive than in younger patients. Elite egg donor agencies that advertise in places such as Ivy League student newspapers offering up to $20,000 or even $50,000 for donor eggs seek donors under the age of 29. The issues of age need to be taken up with a qualified fertility specialist such as a reproductive endocrinologist. A review in 2012 came to the result that therapeutic interventions to halt or reverse the process of reproductive aging in women is limited, despite recent reports of the potential existence of stem cells which may be used to restore the ovarian reserve. At age 30, 75% will have a conception ending in a live birth within one year, 91% will have a conception ending in a live birth within four years. By age 30, 7% of couples were infertile, by age 35, 11% of couples were infertile, by age 40, 33% of couples were infertile, at age 45, 87% of couples were infertile.